Okay, well, welcome back for the second video on factorizing using the distributive law or factorizing by taking out a common factor. Okay, so we've got three uh, slightly trickier questions than the last ones, but if we follow the same process, you'll find out they're actually not too bad. So let's have a look at the first term. It's got a factor of three, two factors of eight, a factor of B and a factor of C. And the second term has a factor of A, a factor of C, and a factor of D. So there's no common numerical factors. There are two factors of A there, one factor of A there. So I can take out one factor of A. Leaves one behind there, and that one's been factored out. B is only in the first term, so B is not a common factor. There's a factor of C in each term, so that's part of the common factor, so I can cross out the c's, and d is a factor only in the second term, so that's not a common factor. So the highest common factor is ac. Let's go ahead and find out what's left behind in brackets. Well, looking over here, I've got 3 times a times b, and looking at the second term, I've just got subtract d. Quick check, I've got 3 times a squared times b times c. That's correct. And in the second term, I've got a times c times d. So that's correct. I'll even give it a tick. Okay, let's look at the second one. Now, because I've got a subtraction there and a negative there, I'm actually going to take out a uh, negative factor. So I'll change that to plus a negative. So now I've got two negative numbers. Okay, let's go ahead and find the highest common factor. Well, 8 and 12, highest common factor is 4. Because I want to take out a negative, I'm going to take out the common factor negative 4. That leaves a 2, and that leaves a 3. Okay, looking at the m's, I've got one factor of m and two factors of m. Common to both is one factor of m, so I can cross that out, and I can cross out one of those and leave one behind. Here I have two factors of n and one factor of n, so common to that is one factor of n. I can cross that out, and I can cross that out. Okay, now we can write the brackets. Notice I changed that to plus, so it's got to be plus. Okay, and I can see what I've got left. I've got 2 times n in my first term. I've got 3 times m in my second term. And, of course, we always check. Negative 4 times 2, negative 8. I've got one factor of m and two factors of n. Yep, m times n squared. Checking the second term, I've got negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. That's correct. I've got two factors of m and one factor of n, and that's correct. So that is completely factorized. Now, this last question, when students first come across it, very few can figure out what to do. It looks like it's already been factorized is a common uh, statement that students make. But if you remember that factors mean things you multiply together, what am I multiplying together here? Well, I'm multiplying a times b plus 3 in brackets. And in this term, I'm multiplying 2 times b plus 3 in brackets. So this has the factors a times b plus 3 in brackets. This is 2 times b plus 3 in brackets. What's the common factor? Well, it's not just a letter. It's not just a number. It's not just a power. It is brackets, b plus 3, close brackets. That's common to both. Once I cross that out, what's left behind? a plus 2. And that's the correct answer. b plus 3 in brackets multiplied by a plus 2 in brackets. Okay, on the next page, I would like you to have a go at these three on your own. And 
um, after you've done that so stop the video after you've done that uh, come back and uh, just watch me go through the answers fairly quickly okay away you go okay welcome back let's go ahead and work through these now these are different aren't they let me have a quick look yeah well the first one is I'm not sure about the last one okay let's go ahead and take out the common factors start with the numbers four and six common factor is two two goes into four twice two goes into six three times there's one a there two a's there so I can cross out one of the a's cross out the a that's a common factor two B's and one B I can cross the B out I can cross one of the B's out B is a common factor and that's got a C that's got a D they're not common what's left behind two times a times B times C so two a B C minus three times D and as usual we can do a quick check two times two is four a times a is a squared b times b is b squared times c which is exactly what we have there and two times three is six we've got one factor of a one factor of b and one factor of d which is exactly what we have there okay looking at the next one once again because i've got a, a sub, uh, sorry a, a a negative and a subtraction I'll change them both to subtractions and I'll take out a negative factor. So negative 10, negative 5, the common factor for those is negative 5, leaving positive 2 and leaving positive 1. I won't write the positive 1, I'll just cross it out. I've got three factors of m and two factors of m, so I can take out two of those. That's common to both, but three isn't. Two factors of n and three factors of n I can take out two factors of n okay let's see what's left behind oops I better go ahead and cross out both of those and everything but one of those cross out both of those and everything but one of those okay I've changed it into a plus so now I've got 2m in my first term inside the brackets and I've just got an n for my second term okay let's do a quick check negative 5 times 2 negative 10 m squared times m m cubed and n squared n squared so that works for the first term for the second term I've got a numerical factor of negative 5 I've got an m squared and I've got an n squared times n which is n cubed so that is, I'll just make that a bit more neat. That is the correct answer for that one. Finally, I've got a factor of A. In fact, I think this is the same question. I forgot to change it. So this is going to be pretty easy. The common factor is B plus 3 in brackets. When I cross out the common factor, what's left behind is A plus 2 in brackets and there we go there's a lesson on factorizing using the distributive law